I have now been filming my life for an entire year, every single day. Now, if you'd said to me last year that I'd actually be able to do that, I don't know if I'd have believed you or not. Because I had every intention on making it through the entire year, making a video every single day. But it's been difficult and it's been really tough. There's been days that I've missed and so I've had to upload two videos in one day. Um, it's been hard because a lot of the time I don't have an interesting thing to film so it ends up me just talking about stuff and actually looking back on the year because of how my work's progressed and it's become harder and harder for me to do things and I've had more uh, extracurricular stuff that I have to commit to that isn't stuff I can really film because like copyright laws and stuff like that. Um, my daily vlogs have actually gotten worse throughout the entire year which is really annoying because like I'd, I'd have loved it if uh, I'd, I'd be able to come through it and actually be better at it. Uh, but it didn't happen. Sorry, my door's uh, open by itself. I'm gonna sh shut this. See, this is just proof of how uh, I haven't I haven't proved. I don't set things up. I don't have a proper little rig with a light that I can I can set up and have it at a perfect angle so that you don't see the giant spots on my chin and stuff. I haven't got great at this. Um, but I'm just proud that I've been able to do a video every single day. Um, it's been it's been a ride, and there's been some really good good times um, that I've seen. I, I'm actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my my channel uh, on my computer and then I can I can just look back and scroll through and see what cool stuff I've done in in the past year because there's been there's been a lot um, and honestly the fav my favorite thing that I've done I've done 360 fucking three videos I've got this one to make and then one more and that will be 365 and that's just that's just crazy that's actually crazy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if I go back, if I go back to the beginning, and I scroll through the videos that I've made, and you'll see how I I, I had longer videos, I put more effort into them, um, the ones that I had back in the day. So, so looking back to the first ones, I had drunk New Year's Eve, and that's where I'm going to be tonight. I've got another little New Year's Eve gathering, nothing like last year's, but it's going to be a new thing. Uh, I've done like I went to watch Southampton play. That video was like 17 minutes long, which is crazy. My first video was, was 24, my, th my fourth video is 28 minutes long and now I'm lucky to hit like 7 minutes. Uh, it's crazy, there's so much more content in these videos, like 10 minutes pretty much every single time. I've gone to so much, so many music gigs this year. I've uh, gone to, to see the Cribs, I've gone to see the Voids. Um, it's been amazing, I've had the whole debacle with going to see CRX that never actually happened. Um, but some of these videos, like I went on a, tr I went on a walk to Commidwall, my favourite place in Wales, and that was 18 minutes long. Where do I find this, this, this content to go and see things? So uh, I, I did, I did like a kind of day by day playthrough of how the Voids music was coming out from Virtue, and and how this all come through. Uh, I've got like football match reactions. Look at all my, my videos in the voids. You can see a m massive lift in views compared to all the other ones. And that started, that got me a couple of subscribers, which gave me like maybe two people that come back and watch my videos every now and again. Um, it's amazing. I'm reacting to Albert Hammond Jr.'s stuff. Um, this is this is crazy. Oh, m I remember my cancer research stuff because I, I put that in the description of every single video for a very long time until Ellie did her run. I don't think anyone ever used it, but I remember doing that, and that was the thing I, I did. Well, like two months in, I started doing that for Ellie. It's crazy, and my reactions to songs, uh, England versus Wales uh, in uh, the, the Six Nations, that were good. I love how I can look through my thumbnails and see the progression of my hair growing. That's so fucking great. <laughs> There's the days when I went on my little trip in the snow to um, mid Wales when it was like minus 13 at night. Uh, crazy seeing the red kites and we went on a red deer stalk like me and a couple of mates. We went out to this national park and just found these this herd of red deer and was were following them around. Uh, my vegan week or my vegan 10 days. Um, I've done like all my Southampton videos, all my Southampton news. I, I went on and started doing like a season every single match reviews on my other channel, but on this one, this is where it all started. This is when I started getting into talking about football again. My most viewed video, The Void's full album leaked. I mean, that's got so many dislikes. Because it was clickbaited to shit. There's so many of my videos here that have me like at least partially naked in the thumbnail. Uh, which is so weird. I've obviously used that to some sort of advantage. Photo shoots of my friends, vinyl reviews, how to fix internet. Um, when I went to Centre Parks with Ellie's family, 
uh, when it was varsity and, and we had a massive va- varsity gathering in Bangor. It was amazing. Uh, my cooking, I've just got so much food in these. Uh, <laughs> I got so much food in these uh, thumbnails. Uh, just going on walks with Ellie, teaching myself piano. I taught myself how to play chances on piano. It's Ellie's favorite stroke song. I started doing science videos. Uh, like talking about science because I got bored and couldn't think of anything to, to actually show people so uh, I got like pig brains and how they've kept them like their consciousness alive in a lab without any body and like bee stuff bee research because that's happening all the time in Bangor um, like NHS breast breast cancer scam thing scare infinity war reactions arctic monkeys did they copy the strokes like all these cool awesome video ideas and then when i went away with ellie and we went to um to south wales uh it was all sunny we just went on these adventures and basically the only way i could think of getting views on those videos was to uh put myself naked in the thumbnail and just crop it at my arse line uh, and it was brilliant ellie's in my song plant pot in the sky uh brilliant oh my god summer ball um, the Irish abortions, like, why do I talk about this stuff? I found, like, there was a weeping angel statue we found in a graveyard. Um, when I came home for the summer, and you can see how my, my, like, the, the, the length of my videos really decreased because I was just having too much fun to go out and film things. There's so many videos of me outside with my dogs. Like, so many pictures of the dogs, that's crazy. And then the World Cup happened, and I have all these videos of me reacting to England playing and like the full game reactions drunk science when i went up to um to visit rhiannon in salisbury uh i had so many world cup reaction videos it's, it's crazy i went up to see uh, ben as well in coventry and there's a night out with me and ben's friends uh meals out this, this is crazy and more music reactions when crx released love me again that was so long that was six months ago can't believe that and then there's like England won a penalty shootout. That video only got three views because I feel like everyone made that same video. Um, there's Donald Trump, uh, the World Cup final videos where England crash and burn. That was my video from when we went out against Croatia and that got one view because again, I think everyone has done it. I did like some, I, I thought about making a music channel for a period of time. So I put a few music -y videos up. Um, I, I, this is crazy. I did a climate change rant. I played beer pong with my friends. Uh, you can see uh, me spending more and more time with my dogs and my family is like me playing ping pong with Ollie uh, and having seaweed fights with my dogs. Me starting my dissertation and my 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 four or five weeks of doing that and finding um, great crested newts for the first time in that area. Like I was the first person to ever find them there. Uh, finding my first grass snake and stuff for my dissertation is amazing. And then when I went to London just just to get a passport, I spent an entire day in London to go to go there, get a passport. And I got heckled by uh, a, 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 a high old lady saying, stop filming my dog. Um, there's, oh, there's so many nice pictures on here as well, just in my thumbnails of me when I've been out with my friends and family doing stuff. Um, oh, this is brilliant. Oh, I'm talking about the KSI like pool fight. I don't know why I talked about that one. Uh, there's like trapped in a storm when I went to Lapin Yard. This was, this was amazing. This is like the first time I've ever actually been able to do proper trips away and still vlog. And the fact was, I have a phone contract with loads of data and when I go to France, you can use the data now. I don't know how that's gonna change with Brexit. Um, but this summer I was actually able to go away and do a video every single day and I did. And it was amazing. Um, and I, I really, really enjoyed doing that. Uh, I went to Southampton again, watched them lose again. That was in the start of the season. Uh, so that's when I started making videos on my other channel, talking about the games, going out, getting drunk. And then I go back to uni and things kind of decrease in quality. I did like my uni room tour and stocking up my cupboards and such. But um, that's when I, I started not filming things because my work got, over, got in the way of me. Um, and I ended up just, just finding topics to talk about, like what I'm scared about. Uh, it's not okay to be happy all of the time. Um, like, what other one? E uh, Ellie's Veganiversary. Um, five things I want to see in Doctor Who Series 11. And then Doctor Who happened, and I got to do all my Doctor Who reviews every every week, uh, which is brilliant. Uh, I invented the shaving vlog, which I'm definitely going to have to go back to and just film myself shaving, talking about stuff. Gone on view uh, on, on to, the, uh, to the zoo on field trips and stuff, done loads of cool research. 
uh, some of my weird and wacky food creations, like when I ate three nacho meals in one day, uh, talking about Red Dead Redemption, and you get back to now, uh, where I've been talking about Southampton, and our, our, bad, our bad spells, what my plans for the holidays are, uh, my, my one exam I had before, and now I'm back here. Uh, I can't believe how many videos I've already, uh, it's weird looking at this and seeing how many videos I've made here, this year has it's been, been crazy. Uh, uh, but yeah, my quality's really gone down um, throughout the year, and I, I'm hoping I can improve on that. But saying that, this is where I want to go now, this is my plan for the next year. I want to be making daily videos every single day. However, there are going to be periods where I can't do that. Uh, whereas when I went to France and I was able to film every day and still upload, it's not really going to be possible for me in Kenya. The internet there isn't good enough. I don't have the money to afford a sim uh, with a good enough data contract to be able to, to like upload fast. Um, it's not really a viable option for me. Whilst I will film whilst I'm out there um, with my camera, with my GoPro, and hopefully build up a little uh, fun video. There won't be any music or edits or stuff. It will just be showing you stuff that I did. Um, I want to uh, like just focus on being there uh, and not have to worry about uploading every day. So. Whilst next year, um, it won't be that I'll upload 365 videos. Um, it, it will be that I, I, I upload as many as I can um, and hopefully have interesting stuff to talk about rather than feel obliged to make a video and have to sit there for an hour and think up a topic. But that's my, that's my plan for the next year and I hope you guys completely understand that it, it's been difficult um, this year and uh, I've enjoyed doing this. It's been a great way to get my feelings across and it's basically like a, a walking talking diary that I can listen to and have in the background. I'm looking forward to actually going back and watching some of these videos um, in the future. Um, I mean, when, when I eventually have a family, I'm hoping that YouTube will still be a thing and they'll still have my videos up. Um, I'd love to show my family these videos, like my kids, and, and so they can see what I was like when I was young. Um, and it's crazy. Just looking, let's, this is an entire year documented. Every single day has been a video and, and it's been brilliant. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap this up now. This is my penultimate video for 2018. Um, I will do one more uh, right now, and it will just be a, like, thanks for watching this year and, and stuff. But um, I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, make sure that you stay, stay safe and also stay, stay, stay subscribed to me. Because <laughs> I, I want to make these videos better. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. Uh, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.